so I am just getting ready for the next live broadcast I've got some really interesting bits and pieces to share with you today and I'm super excited about one of them because I haven't experienced this for a long long time and you'll know exactly what I mean when I get into showing you it I've also got some really useful pieces of technology to show you as well before we get started good and proper with today's video a uh, few bits of housekeeping first of all as always uh, the chat is there for if you want to ask me questions I will be taking some general questions a little bit later on also some questions about the products I'm going to show you in today's video also there is the super chat feature there so if you do want to support the channel or indeed you want your question or comment highlighted then that is there as well and one last thing I have also got a GoFundMe campaign still looking for a sponsor or sponsors for the iPhone 10 video it's iPhone 10 ordering day tomorrow very excited about that and I'm hoping I get some last minute supporting so that I can make that happen I put a link to that campaign down in the video description area there and also in the chat for you to make it a little bit easier for you to find there is also one more thing I've been getting a lot of feedback a lot of very valuable feedback about the quality of the live broadcasts in yesterday's live broadcast we had a lot of voice synchronization issues I think I have sorted those out or at least fingers crossed I have I have pushed all of the bandwidth I can all of my upload speed to the live broadcasts so there's nothing else using any upload bandwidth at the moment so hopefully that will rectify that I also had a lot of feedback about the actual quality of the video and the lighting so we have got new lighting in the editing room uh, a lot sort of uh, nearer to a daylight sort of color in here today so hopefully that will make the color a lot nicer for you to look at and also from tomorrow assuming I do a live broadcast tomorrow but from the next live broadcast I've also invested in a new camera system which will hopefully not only improve the color again but also will improve things like when I put something up close to the lens as you can see there it takes absolutely ages to focus if it focuses at all so hopefully that will be improved in a future live broadcast as well so before I start showing you some of these products let's take a look inside the chat and say a big hello to Ryan to gameplay magic to Audi one two three triple zero to Dominic also to Hrish and David Hepworth thank you very much and also to S Baggings and Morgan Wright life's life and David Hepworth I think I've already said hello to you David so hello to you all thank you very much for tuning in I really do appreciate all the questions and all the feedback because it really does help me uh, life's life says hi Dave I couldn't access your stream from mobile because it said this video is not available so I'm using my PC instead it should well be available on all platforms let me just take a look at the settings I've got here it should be available on mobile no reason at all why this wouldn't be available on mobile so hopefully that will be rectified if you try again uh, David Hepworth says today the iPhone 10 will be hard to get it will probably be quicker using the Apple Store app rather than the website to order it very very true also try the carriers website and favorite model you want on the app very good tips very good indeed uh, also from Audi 123000 and Life's Life saying the color looks better thank you very much I think I've sorted out a much much better color balance for the videos now uh, and also we have got a comment here from Robert Moore jr. hello to you Robert thanks for tuning in I love watching your videos thanks for all you do so thank you very much everyone who's tuned in for the live broadcast I think I've delayed enough let's start looking at some of these products now I have got a product here from 12 South um, I will be showing you this a little bit later on do stay tuned to it because as I mentioned a little bit earlier this is something I haven't experienced for a long long time and I want to share the experience with you before I do that I've got some products from Pison 
Now again, there is a link to the Pison storefront down in the video description area. They sent me a few of their products, which I want to show you today. And this first one I thought was a bit of a gimmick, but I've actually tried it and it's not a gimmick. It actually works very well, especially this time of year. And it's actually a product like a battery that you want to get warm. Normally when you've got a battery in a smartphone, especially something like a Note 7, I know that's a touchy subject, but if you've got a battery in a smartphone, you don't want it to get warm. This is a battery pack and you do want it to get warm. Let me explain. Let me explain further. So battery packs are very, very handy. I have loads of these. I always take one when I'm going out to meetings or out on an event, or uh, if I'm traveling perhaps into central London, for example, I will always take a battery pack out with me because if you get caught short for juice on your smartphone or on your tablet or on even some of the compact cameras nowadays that actually charge via micro USB, this is a saver it really is so this particular one is the I can't remember the model number uh, well it's called the warming hands I don't think there is a model number it's a 7500 milliamp hour battery pack and it's in this really cool shape very very ergonomic shape and there is a reason for this shape a very very good reason which we we'll come on to in a short while on this side here it's got micro USB for charging the battery, a USB output for charging your smartphone or other device, and then it's got a little power on on switch. When we push the power switch, we get some LED feedback, which shows you how much juice is left. And each one of these LEDs represents 25% of power. So we've got three there, so that's 75%. I can do math, unlike the calculator on iOS 11, seriously unlike I'll show you that after this product now the button here you can also hold in and when you hold it in we get a little red LED light up just here and this actually starts warming up the two areas and you can put this in your pocket whilst you're out and about in the winter it's already warming up and it acts as a hand warmer so this is not only a battery pack it's really warm already so so nice so this is a battery pack for charging your devices and a hand warmer to keep your hands warm during winter. How cool is that? I thought it was a gimmick. Let me just turn it off. I really did. When, when the company approached me to have a look at this, I thought, who wants a hand warmer and a battery charger in one device? It really is good. I love having warm hands in the winter. That is amazing. Now, I wouldn't suggest going to sleep with it definitely when you're alert and taking it out put it in your pocket use it for charging your smartphone or indeed for warming your hands a very very cool product really do like it so next product is also from Pison and it's a very simple product but I want to show you it because I think it's very well made it's just called cable they do other cables in the range as well this is the TC01 and this is a one meter long lightning cable and the reason i like this is just because it's got like a, a flat profile it feels like it's like going to last a long time it feels nice and robust and it's just got different looking connectors on the end i just think it looks very very cool it's available in all different colors and it comes with a little cable tie as well to keep things nice and neat i'm always losing cables especially lightning cables this particular one is a usb-c one uh, but you can't have enough charging cables you really can't these are really keenly priced as well so well worth checking out and then last but not least from Pison we have got this one I'm going to show you the product box first it's called the LCD power station and it's got 20,000 milliamp hour capacity 20,000 milliamp hours it's the TSD 199 dual output portable mobile power again from Python do check out the links down below and this is what it looks like very very nice looking it's quite a big battery pack admittedly because of the capacity but 20,000 milliamp hours is enough to probably charge your smartphone from 0 to 100% about eight times I would imagine and then we've got a 1 amp output and a 2 amp output on the side so you can use these both at the same time or one at a time 
and it's also got a micro USB input there as well. So you might be thinking, well, why do I like this one so much? Well, let me just push the power button, and instead of LEDs, we've actually got a little display there. Let me see if I can get this to focus in on this little display. So we've actually got a display there that shows you the remaining battery capacity. And it turned off. Let me turn it back on. That was a fail. There we go. Let's show it to you again. So you've got the remaining battery capacity showing on that display. Very, very good indeed. Absolutely love it. Nice white colour. I think they do it in a black colour as well. So if you want something that doesn't show the dirt as much, maybe go for the black. Uh, but really nice to have that built-in display. I think it's just very, very useful. There's also a battery meter, which is a little bit redundant because you've got the battery meter there, but you've also got the percentage. So I'd always go by the percentage. And I just think that is a really good battery pack with a very useful capacity. If I was going away for a weekend on a business trip, I'd take a larger capacity battery like this. So really, really impressed. Absolutely love it. Just gonna pop that over the back there, just so that you can see it in the frame. So there we go. Now, before I move on to the smelly tech, we're gonna call it, and it is good smelly tech as well from 12 South. Let's take a look in the comments and have a look at what you have been asking. Uh, Al Reed says, hi Dave, keep up the excellent shows. I will do. Thank you very much for your vote of confidence. Uh, Peter Westerland, hello to you, Peter. Nice of you to tune in. Uh, Morgan Wright is saying, yes, battery packs are essential. Battery life in all smartphones is terrible. It's probably written in the Bible somewhere. <laughs> love it, absolutely love it. Uh, Life's Life agreeing, that's a super useful two-in-one product. Uh, and we've also got uh, Audi 123000 saying, I'm so happy I'm still on iOS 10 on my iPad Air 2. I wish I was still on iOS 10. I really, really do. Uh, Life's Life says, does the display on the battery pack also use part of its battery life? Well, you're only pushing it just to see the display temporarily, so very, very minimal. It will use power, but very, very minimal power. Uh, hello to Raymond Moore, also to Famous Productions. Thanks for tuning in. And also from Thiago Morais. Hello from Brazil. That is awesome. Thank you very much for tuning in. So shall we do the trademark Geekanoids sniff test. I normally do this on leather cases, but I've got a product here from 12 South, and this is their Inspire version two. Now, so they obviously have done a version one. Now it comes in this box here. This is what the product packaging looks like. Again, there is a link down in the video description to the 12 South website. Now 12 South make a whole host of amazing products uh, stands for laptops, um, stands even for iMacs. I've got a couple of their products actually featuring in about a week's time in my editing room tour, which is coming up on the channel very, very soon. And I've got a couple of 12 South products in that. And they just do really good products, all for Apple. They are all Apple, so they're dedicated to making really great design products. And this is their Mac Candle number two. It says here, inspired by those who continue to innovate who's with scent notes to help clear the mind and simulate creativity. 100% soy candle, very good credentials. And it comes supplied in this uh, pot with a lid and it's meant to mimic the smell that you get when you unbox a new Apple product. So should we give it a try? Shall we try this? This hasn't been burnt yet. This is fresh out of the box. I must admit, when I opened the box, I did get to smell it, but not inside. So here we go. Let's test this for the first time. Wow. You know, that does bring back memories of doing some of the original Mac unboxings. And when I say original Mac, I mean something like the old Mac Pro, the big Mac Pro, or even the Mac Pro, like the G5 versions. 
when you could actually upgrade your Mac. Remember those days? Wow, that is, apart from bringing back those memories, it is really quite a pleasant fragrance. That's what it looks like inside, just a regular candle. There's also some writing on the bottom, which you'd need a magnifying glass to read. But it's a really, really nice quality pot as well. Feels really nice quality. And it says here, Inspire, Mac Candle number two, Soy Candle, nine and a half ounces, 269 grams. And it's, it really does smell nice. Here's a closer look for you. Very, very cool product. Really nice. Now, Christmas is coming. So apart from needing uh, something to keep your hands warm like this, something to make everything smell a bit more festive. I think Christmas is a really nice time to burn candles. This one, I'm gonna put the lid back on for now. This is gonna come out again at Christmas. And I'm gonna start burning this probably in the, the sort of run up to Christmas, maybe a week before Christmas I'll start burning this when you're getting in the festive mood and this would make a really nice gift as well if I got this for a gift being like a tech lover and an Apple sort of fanboy as well I live within this Apple ecosystem although I am trying Android yeah so partially leaving possibly um, apart from having all this tech surrounding me I'm often very difficult to buy gifts for and indeed a lot of geeks are probably very difficult to buy gifts for because you normally have everything that you want. If I got this as a gift I would be very very pleased. I, I genuinely would be chuffed if I got this as a gift on Christmas Day. So that's the Inspire Mac Candle number 2 from 12 South. 12south.com, link down in the video description. So that is all of the pieces of tech and non-tech. I'm going to show you today but I'm not going to end the broadcast there I'm going to take some questions and answers if you've got any questions at all especially about iOS 11 which I've been moaning about a lot lately or indeed about the amazing camera on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 which I've been experiencing even more recently as well uh, then please do ask away I've been using this camera and the apps on the Note 8 a lot more over the most recent, uh, over the last couple of days. And um, I've got the most recent software on here. I've updated all the apps and the operating system is amazing. I did try Action Launcher on it, didn't like it. Tried Nova Launcher, didn't like it. And I think that's testament to how good TouchWiz is now on the Galaxy range of smartphones. There's hardly any bloatware on it now. It works very, very nicely, very swift in its operation, very responsive. And I've been taking some photos on here. In, in fact, I just took a photo of a new timepiece I'm covering on my Watch Lifestyle channel. And I posted that to Instagram, shared it on Twitter as well. So you will have seen it on the Geekanoid Twitter. And oh my goodness, the quality of the photos from this. I also showed this to a few members of the family uh, using this uh, live focus mode or portrait mode, Samsung's equivalent to portrait mode, and the blurred out background and the isolation of the subject, absolutely awesome. Very, very impressed with the camera on this, or cameras. The front facing camera is very good as well, and the battery life has been great. I'm only on my second recharge since uh, having this come in, and it hasn't been charged today, it's been charged yesterday, and I'm on 85%. So I'm impressed with the camera. Very, very impressed. Morgan Wright says, Oh God, Christmas, where has time gone? We are already fast approaching November. Uh, Audi 123000, will the Note 8 become your daily driver? It's looking very, very likely. I think I mentioned this in yesterday's video, that, it, no, the day before's video, that it's going to be at least a week to two weeks before I make that decision. Uh, Raymond Moore, what case am I using? It's a, a Spigen case, and it's just like an ultra clear with extra protection on the corners. That's the case I'm using at the moment. Got it off of Amazon, it was about seven or eight pounds. Uh, S Baggin says, over the last few weeks, I've had problems with the iPhone iOS 10 freezing and MacBook Pro OS 10 El Capitan auto rebooting. Is there a conspiracy at Apple? That is not good news. I don't think there is a conspiracy, but that is not good news at all. 
Uh, David Hepworth asks, what's your iPad like on iOS 11? My iPad Pro 9.7 has flashing lines in multitasking. Safari is slow and apps are lagging and slow to load. The betas were fine. Well, mine, I get crashes on the mail app. I also get the YouTube app crashing. I get rotation issues and I get a lot of stutter and lag. So it is just really bad for me as well. And I'm on an iPad Pro 10.5. Uh, Al Reed, is the camera on the Note 8 good enough to outweigh the bloatware on Samsung devices? It's a very good camera, and I don't think there's much bloatware on there now. I really don't. There's a few Samsung apps on there, probably half a dozen when you first start the device up. Works absolutely fine. Uh, Tech for your needs says it's not called TouchWiz no more. New name is Experience 8.5. Wow, I learn something new every single day. Thank you very, very much for that. I was unaware of that, so thank you. I've also noticed with this new lighting in this broadcast, the focus seems to be a lot better. I mean, I have got face recognition on. This is being broadcast from the Panasonic GH5, and it's working extremely well. I'm pleased with that. Very, very good indeed. Uh, Raymond Moore, I'm using the iPhone 6S Plus on iOS 10.3, should I upgrade to iOS 11? No, definitely not. Do not upgrade. I've seen an iPhone 6S Plus running on iOS 11. It's not a good experience. So many problems and performance issues as well. It is not a good experience. I would advise strongly against it. Uh, Tech for your needs says, yes, the focusing is way better. That is awesome to hear, that really is. Let me put something up close to the camera. Let me put my new hand warmer up close to the camera. Does it refocus or have we spoken too soon? It has refocused. Well, at least I think it did. I couldn't see properly. Let me give it a better try with the box from this product. I think we are getting better refocus with this light. So very, very good. And the GH5 isn't the best at autofocus. Uh, tech for your needs saying also don't upgrade I'm having problems with iPhone 7. Uh, Graham Smith, there is a tiny lag on speech. So this is a YouTube gremlin. I have put all the bandwidth into this live broadcast and we're still getting speech synchronization issues. Hopefully better than yesterday. But nonetheless, there are issues. Uh, Grumpy Man's Review says, how can I go back? If you're referring to how you go back to an older version of iOS, you have to find the IPSW file and download it uh, on a computer. Find a reputable source, like I think it's called iOS Download Blog, um, and then download that to your computer, connect via iTunes and do a restore, and choose the older version. Do back up first though, and do read up, do some research. Don't take my word for it, it's gonna work. So do your due diligence first, but that should indeed work. So if there's any more questions, do post them in the comment section. I will just let you know again, if you didn't tune in right at the beginning of this broadcast, I'm very excited because I'm enjoying doing the live broadcast so much. I've got a new camera system coming in, which should give even better color rendition than the GH5 I'm using now. I can also power it off of the mains power, so I'm not relying on batteries. And I can also say with quite a lot of confidence that the focus should be even better than you're experiencing now. At least I think so, because it's yet another investment on my part. But I love doing it, so I will continue to reinvest in the channel and, and improve the quality of every video as much as I can. Also, just a reminder, it is iPhone 10 ordering day tomorrow. I know I said this at the beginning of the broadcast. I will let you know again. I have got, and I'm going to share it for you again in the chat, I have got a... GoFundMe campaign set up uh, to actually fund new devices. Sometimes I get loan models in to review. Sometimes I purchase models in to review. Uh, and sometimes I get sponsored for videos. But it is very, very hard to get all of the devices in. And I get asked time and time again, Dave, please cover the LG V30. Dave, you must cover the iPhone 10. And a viewer, or in fact, probably about, I think it was about 20 over the course of about three or four weeks, suggested setting up 
a GoFundMe campaign. So I've done that on this particular device. I did get a donation and a private sponsor for the Pixel 2, which was really good. I breathed a sigh of relief when that happened. Uh, if you do want to support future devices, then you do get something in return, apart from what I think is good content, and I love sharing my opinion with you and interacting with you in the chat. Apart from that, if you do support a future video and you leave your name next to any sort of a pledge, then you will get a shout out in a future video as well. All the details are on that link that I put in the uh, chat there. <clears throat> Life's Life says, Dave, I have a real issue with Wi-Fi in iOS 11. Me too. Whenever I'm in an app store or YouTube, my iPhone 6 randomly cuts off Wi-Fi, goes onto data, and then goes back to Wi-Fi. How do I fix this? I would try completely shutting down the phone and then starting it back up, removing your Wi-Fi, getting it to forget your Wi-Fi connection, and then reinitiating that connection. And if that doesn't work, then try restore and set your device up again. And if that doesn't work, get on the phone to Apple and ask them to solve it. I have had problems where I get Wi-Fi bars, so it says I'm connected to Wi-Fi, but it won't actually give me any data. It won't sort of load a web page, and I have to switch Wi-Fi off and then back on again. Yes, the old trick of fixing technology, turn it off and back on again, and then it normally works. There's some sort of negotiation issue between your sort of router and your iPhone that isn't quite working correctly. Uh, Grumpy Man Reviews said, back to work. Thanks for answering my question. I'll check out your donation page later. Thank you very much. Good luck at work. And Life's Life says, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Jawadi Bar says, is it okay to move to Android O? Android Oreo version 8, or I think the 8.1 beta is available now, is a great operating system. On the Pixel 2, such a nice, fluid, smooth experience. So I would say yes. Definitely. Uh, it was just so, so much more responsive and a much nicer user experience than using iOS 11. So very, very much so. And I never thought I would see the day or hear me, or hear myself, I should say, saying that. I really wouldn't. I didn't ever think that I would consider switching to Android. And this Note 8, and indeed the Pixel 2, and hopefully the Pixel 2 XL when it comes in, will convince me even more, because I want to use one of these as my daily driver. I keep saying it in other videos for at least three months to give it a really fair chance. Yes, I will find a way of covering the iPhone 10. Will I go back to iOS 11? Never say never. If they fix all the problems, then it's a possibility. But I'm thoroughly enjoying that Note 8. I really am. Uh, Stimpy. When will Oreo be on Samsung? Well, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and S8 and S8 Plus are going to be the first ones to get it on Samsung. I haven't got a definitive answer, but I would imagine it will be by January. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Uh, Raymond Moore. Dave, can you make this live broadcast on a fixed time slot so that I won't miss it another time? I discussed this in a pre previous video as well. It's very difficult for me to set a time uh, purely because of my workload. I do a lot of commercial videos as well for private clients. So I have to fit that into my schedule as well. So it's normally when I've got this sort of hour break in my schedule that I can sit down and broadcast. Also, I know it doesn't help you uh, personally, but I have, I've got audience or viewers in many different countries and many different time zones. So I've really just been trying to mix it up as much as I can so that everybody gets a chance to tune into a live broadcast. Now, admittedly, I do cover a particular subject matter in a video, be that a Pixel 2, random technology like this, like this really gorgeous smelling camera, a camera candle. Doesn't smell like a camera. Ah, oh, so nice. So I do cover like random sort of technology, like the Mega Gadget collections that I do when I pre-record a video, or I might cover a specific product, but I always mix it up by including a questions and answer session throughout the video, either midway or midway and at the end. So I hope that helps everyone interact and take part in the live broadcast to a certain degree. Seems to be working, but if you do miss one, just try tuning in the next time. I, I know what you mean about scheduling, it's just hard for me to do at the moment. 
We have also got uh, Jawadi Bar saying, I used to own a Note 2 and since I have a OnePlus 2, it doesn't update to Android N. That is an issue with Android. With some older devices, you don't always get the carrier pushing out the latest version of Android. So that is sort of an issue with iOS devices um, and, and they more or less push it out to all devices apart from the really old ones. Uh, I think you get five years, something like that, five years of updates on iOS products. Might be wrong on that, might be a little bit longer. Uh, Stimpy says, what do you think of the Mi Mix 2? I have seen some videos about this and also some photos. It looks like a really nice device. Very good value for money as well. And Scoofy's Mod says, or Scroofy's Mod says, hey. Hey to you too. Thank you very much for tuning in. So anyway, I'm super excited about the new camera coming in for the live broadcasts. I'm also really pleased with how things are looking now with the new lights. Super impressed with the Note 8. Just to recap on some of the products I covered today. I covered this Pison uh, battery pack, which also acts as a hand warmer. Really good device, great for winter. Also really uh, good cable. This is a USB-C cable from Pison. Also, their 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack with the LCD display, which is super cool. And then last but not least, this isn't necessarily my favorite, but I could, I could quite easily smell this 12 South Inspire candle for the rest of the evening. I know, I know, it sounds weird, but I really could. Ah, it is that good. I'm not joking. This Inspire candle has made my day. So anyway, that is it for the live broadcast. Thank you again to everyone who tuned in for posing all your questions as well. Don't forget to check out the channel tomorrow. I've got a pre-recorded video coming out on the channel tomorrow. And don't forget to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. All of your likes, your tweets, your comments, and of course your questions are really amazing so thank you again thank you very very much i'll see you all again soon in another video on the geek and noise channel